Hey y'all, so I'm back in the shop today and before I get started this morning, I'm gonna do a short video to answer a question from Jaden, Jaden Fox on my last video about why I have a chain on my animal. Now, you can see this one doesn't have one, this one has something else, and this one has a chain on it. But the chain is to help absorb some of the vibration and keep the noise down because right now it's not too bad, but as far as the heel and the horn, it's not a whole lot you can do for those. But it gets kind of loud, and if you don't have nothing on it, it's really loud. So I'm gonna take this off, and hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up and we'll tell the difference. This one's not quite as bad because it is a newer anvil. It's cast, but the other one rings really loud with nothing on it. You can really tell in the center, but on this one, this is my hay button. I have magnets on, it. and the magnets just kind of absorb some of the vibrations. You can see how that rings really loud on the heel and on the horn. And I don't really want to listen to that all the time. I'm already half deaf from being a mechanic, so I'm just get these magnets stuck back on here and you can see the difference. Like I said, the horn ain't a whole lot you can do for it. But that makes a big difference on the face and the heel of it. So that's just a little explanation about why I have things stuck to my anvils. When I go and forge for demonstrations, I usually take everything off because I want people to hear it ringing so they'll come over and watch. But as far as in the shop, I want to try to keep it quiet. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.